Okay, let's look at today's question. What is woke culture and is it based in psychology? That's a divisive question, isn't it? I suppose for a long time in the past, being woke was simply a synonym for awake, and it was used in the African-American vernacular. Over the years, though, the, the term staying woke became a watchword in parts of the African-American culture for those who questioned the levels of justice in the American socio-political landscape, I suppose. And over the past decade, the term was widely popularized as a call to action that went hand in hand with participation in the Black Lives Movement, didn't it? And then a new definition emerged. And even actually the Merriam-Webster Dictionary has a definition of woke as being aware of and actively attentive to important facts and issues, especially issues of racial and social justice. Now, wokeness in itself entails the prioritization of certain issues relating to racial and ethnic, ethnic uh, equality, as well as issues facing the LGBTI community. And it's uh, characterized by a distinct alertness to racism, sexism, and other forms of discrimination. And among those on the political right, however, the word has become, I suppose the word has become an insult, hasn't it? Uh, to those who are perceived to be radicals following a form of political correctness gone awry. Woke culture describes, I suppose, the manifestation of wokeness in the public domain. It's the collective action of people united through their wokeness or through being awake, through their realization. And the clearest manifestation of woke culture is people gathering either in person or online for the purpose of protesting oppression or unfair discrimination. You know, it, it's a culture that consciously positions itself in direct opposition towards injustice and exploitation and dedicates itself to structurally dismantling all forms of that. Now, psychologically speaking, woke culture, I suppose, is the public manifestation of that very instinctive human urge for identity through belonging. And through belonging, you know, to associating with a group, which often manifests in the desire to advance the interests of your own group over, over threats from outsiders. And then this urge then often translates into activism, which finds the necessary justification in identifying injustices committed against the group that you belong to or that you associate with. And I suppose participating in this kind of act activism for the sake of your own group also helps you gain an increased sense of belonging within that group. And so world culture is ultimately, psychologically speaking, a collective reaction by a group to what is perceived or identified as threats. And, you know, it's a reaction psychologically rooted in our instinctive human drive to survive by overcoming, you know, what we perceive to be enemies and obstacles and injustices. I mean, the word woke has become so divisive, hasn't it? When it didn't, st it started really as, as, as a way to, to be more well of injustice, but it, it has, it has certainly be, it has started to be used as an insult. And uh, I think this is a shame really, because it started with the, with all of the right ideals. And, you know, that's a difficult question to answer. But anyway, that's the, that's the origins of wokeness and I suppose the psychological reasoning behind it. You want me to do a movie quote? Okay, show me, and we'll see. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There is nothing you can talk to me about that I don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who sent that in? 20 people, really? <laughs> Do not post this. <laughs>